Hey guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of the Lepan 2 uh, TC979 tablet. And the first thing that I want to point out is that it is running Android 3.2. Um, it will be upgradable to 4.0 in the future. Android 3.2 is very, very nice compared to 2.0 um, and, of course, earlier versions. The difference between this tablet and the earlier Lepan TC970, the first Lepan tablet, is that it uses actually the on-screen menu button so you know um, these buttons right here are not actual buttons they're on-screen buttons and you can you know go through your different things um, and there's a back button home button you know and all your you have your uh, clock down here and you know your wireless activity and your battery level and then all your things if you click here you can go and you can see uh, some of the things that have been going on and then you can go into the settings actually as well and everything like that. It's pretty simple. I really like Android 3.0. But let's go into doing some stuff. Um, with tablets, the thing that a lot of people do is read books. And my favorite book reader right now uh, still is the Barnes & Noble Nook. And I'll tell you why. Um, just go ahead. Oops. That's not what I want to do. Go in here. And um, we're going to go into this book here. And the reason why I love Barnes & Noble Book Reader is because of the page turn. It's just awesome. Um, you can see here I can go through a ton of pages. And this has no problem doing that. Uh, this tablet is very powerful, so you're not going to have any you know, sluggish issues or anything like that. Um, it works perfectly. And again, hit the Home button and we'll go back. Um, we can go into our browser here, which is pretty simple. And, you know, we can type in... Uh, let's see here. Think computers. And as you can see, it comes up right there. And it's going to load the mobile site for us. And, you you know, you can go in and see. Very fast. Um, this browser is, I had, you know, the built-in browser in Android is all right. There's other ones out there. There's Opera. I'm pretty sure there's uh, Chrome. And there is... Uh, Dolphin browser and a couple of things, but you can see here and you can even just I can just play this video right off the bat um, Let it run here What's going on guys? Bob Buster here again at Think uh, Very Today fluid, so very fast our first in our first um, um, And the speakers The speakers are actually really good on this. I really like them on the original one and I, I'm pretty sure they, they're the exact same speakers if you're in a room with a couple people, it's perfect. Um, you know, tablet speakers aren't made to be awesome and they're not made to be really powerful, but these are actually really good. And I really like them uh, for watching video, for listening to music and everything like that. And of course, you, can, you know, if you want something better, you can plug in speakers or you can get headphones. Um, let's go back home again. And, you know, there's a ton of stuff we can do on here. Let's go, let's play some games. So a game I've been playing a lot is... Um, Let's find it here. This air attack, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I have to put it this way here. And we'll go ahead and play this for a couple seconds. Um, it's, it's, there's a lot going on in this game. That's why I want to test it and show you how, you know, everything just looks awesome. So you can see here, uh, there's a lot going on on the screen. And there's no really delay in anything. I might die because I'm only paying attention to what I'm doing. But as you can see, uh, it plays the game without any problem whatsoever. Um, and also, as you can see here, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to show you how responsive the screen is. So you can actually, you know, turn it completely upside down and it works perfectly. Now, um, besides going into playing games and things like that, I'm sure a lot of you want to watch videos on your tablet. And there's this really cool app called... MX Video Player, it's free, um, and it will actually play a lot of different things. Um, here I'm watching the, this is 1080p video of the, um, the Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, 
a uh, movie trailer. So we can hit play here. 1080p. And as you can see, it plays very fine. You know, no issues whatsoever. Um, we can do, you know, we can do another one as well. We can go back in here. And, oops. You know, we can go back. Um, let's see what else is in here. Um, there's a video here for the Hero 2 uh, camera. As you can see, it plays well, and you can see how loud the speakers are. Very, very loud. Uh, so, so video plays very good. You can play games. Um, a lot of people have been complaining about the wireless on this. Uh, this one in the previous one. I have actually had no issues. Um, I'm actually two feet from my um, wireless access point, but I've taken this to Panera Bread. I've taken it to Starbucks and have no, had no issues whatsoever connecting to anything. Um, it works just great. Um, besides doing that, I mean, it, it's really fluid. I really like it. For only $300, you can get a perfect Android tablet. And that's what's really, really great about it. The only thing that I don't like about this tablet really is, one, you have this entire glass screen here. So that is, with any tablet, it's going to get dirty. You're going to get uh, finger marks on it. I'm, you can probably see a few in the video here. Um, besides that, the only thing I really don't like is the volume button up here on the top it is kind of hard to access and i don't like that but besides that i mean it is a overall a great tablet um if there's anything you want me to test or i can make other videos or something like that if you want me to test different programs in different applications but again it plays 1080p video fine it plays a ton of games i played you know 10 to 12 games on this no problem you could read your books you can browse the internet you can go on twitter facebook all that kind of stuff um i can actually show you the camera too uh, before I get out of here. So front facing camera. So you can see what we're recording with right there. Um, it does have a zoom function too. Let's see if I can get it through. There it goes. So you can see, I mean, the camera's not bad. I've used it um, with Skype. So it's really, uh, really works well. And Skype works completely fine on here as well. So you can do Skype video calls. So it's ba basically, as I said, it's an all around um, tablet. It works perfectly. If you're looking for something that's going to do everything, this is the tablet. And it does outperform the Asus Transformer and the Tegra processors. So you want to keep that in mind as well. Um, so again, guys, this is Bob Buster for Think Computers. And this is the Lapan 2 uh, TC979 9.7 inch tablet. And if you like our unboxing videos and you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button at the bottom. Catch you guys later.